trading as a group i feel like those that's another thing that actually delayed um my success in 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 forex because whenever i wanted yo what's happening everybody welcome to my youtube channel so apparently today i will be unpacking what actually delayed my success in trading hope you'll stick till the end of this video so what i actually noticed was that the more confluences i had the more confidence i would actually have on the trade so in almost half of my uh, entire trading journey i used to have like a lot of confluences like uh, probably say prices to be at yesterday's high or yesterday's low blah 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 all of those things and it actually complicated my trading so when i actually stopped having so many confluences and when i actually kept uh, uh, the trading simple that was when i started seeing progress so instead of having like 10 confluences i started keeping it simple like oh okay price is is is, is, at, is at a support or oh, okay price is is at a resistance let me look for a candlestick pattern and you know like trying um starting with with, with those minor steps so what i feel like most traders do i feel like they try to have so many confluences uh, in their trades which which for me it never really worked out probably to some traders it actually works out but my advice for 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 those that are trying out in, in for those that are beginner traders would be to keep everything simple that is why i don't really um i wouldn't advise most of you guys to actually use indicators i don't use not even one indicator because i just keep things simple my charts are always clean um yeah just keep it simple um because i i think i have something like three confluences so three confluence three confluences sorry about that um three confluences and um i used to have i don't know close to 10 <laughs> close to 10 of them because the more uh, i added up rules like uh, i think i enjoyed adding rules to my trading strategy it made me feel like a professional like oh okay price is at a round number okay price has to be at a round number you know like it it, it made me feel like i'm doing the right thing when actually it was it was actually delaying my success because another thing that i noticed was that me having so many rules it actually filtered a lot of set types so in a week i would have like one set type or, or two set types so i never really had much set types because i had so many rules and those rules filtered a whole lot of good trades so another disadvantage of having um many confluences is that you're not going to, to have many trading set types so um the when i i, I started um uh when i started letting go of of these confluences that i never really needed i started getting more and more set types and then i i, I found myself trading um probably say four times a week um which which actually made me quite uh some good uh amount of of, of cash rather than taking like five trades or four trades in a month so keep it simple another thing when when we get into the forex business right so we get into the forex business because we want to make money right so what then happens is that we focus more on the outcome we focus more on the money um while we are supposed to be actually focusing on the process itself so that is why like uh, those that uh, come across me maybe in the streets and um probably those that actually know that i trade they would ask me most of them would, would ask me like bro how much do you make from a 500 bucks investment how much do you make per day how m you, you you can see that people are actually focused on the money and when you are focused on the money you're not really going to enjoy trading 
okay so you have to enjoy trading you have to fall in love with it you have to focus on the progress okay you have to focus on the process you, you have to to put in the work that's what i'm trying to say so fine we we all are trading to make money but eventually it will pay off but imagine doing something that you love and that thing actually paying off okay so a lot of people don't don't like forex trading they, they they just like the money you see so if you going to open your mt4 probably once a day you, you don't like trading you're after the money and the, the i'm always on my charts um not to say i'm always trading no i'm always on my charts i'm looking at set types doing this and that um maybe replying um to my students or or doing this and that but it's 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 um trading related you know because i love it because it's it's, it's something that i actually like to do so if you get into this industry just take your mentality off um the money because uh that is why i i i, I even uh, preach that when you are starting off um in forex trading you must always use a center account so that you can get um the feel of trading with real money while actually protecting your capital you cannot tell me that you you started trading um back and already you just funded a hundred uh, us dollars account your 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 trading lot size is like 0 0.02 like yeah it, it it you will get bent eventually that's the lesson that you have to learn but for me it's like just start off with with, with the center account try to 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 figure out what what forex is using a center account rather than risking your heart and money so when you come into this industry just love trading man love trading um love trading um don't don't focus on the money too much because it will it, it will take your attention off on the process of learning how to trade you you, you won't have time to learn how to trade but because your mind is going to be always thinking about yo if i use 0 0.05 how much am i going to make you know what l l l l let me let me use 0 0.03 let me use when you're actually supposed to be perfecting your trading skills focus on the process man. trading as a group i feel like those that's another thing that actually delayed um my success in 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 forex because whenever i wanted to take a set type ne, I, I i would ask for someone else's approval you see so that actually made me feel less to, uh, of, of, of a person that can trade you see so when i started departing from any group that i was in and when i started doing my own thing trading in my own room um coming up with with my own rules um improving my skills alone that is when i actually improved in 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 in, in forex trading and by the way um i've I, I never really no one uh, actually taught me what i know no one taught me um the strategy that i use it's it's, it's something that i came up on my own because you know I, I i just actually believe in myself that i can that i can actually do it so each each and every day i would actually wake up um discover something new write it down um you know and so if you're in a specific group it, it, it you're going to sort of like fear you know to, to 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 take a trade on your own like each and every time you want to take a trade you would actually call those people those people and be like yo can you look at you as dj pro i think this and that or this and and sometimes those people we will not agree with you so that's really going to crush you in fact i feel like if you you you, you, are, you are trading as a group you're most likely to give up too early 
you see because what if i say yo usdjpy looks good and this other person says yo usdjpy um is a sell it's not a buy while i said usdjpy is actually a buy so it that sort of um atmosphere is is, is not healthy for you if you're actually a trader so just try focusing on your own journey um come up with, with, with your own craft um yeah and 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 um just depart yourself from from any group because it's really really going to delay your success okay and those were some of the major things that actually delayed my success in forex trading and if you're actually a beginner trader if you're starting out in the forex industry and you have a small account i'd suggest that you actually watch this video it's going to help you and guide you on how you should actually grow your small account see you next time